Hi everybody and welcome to Enlightened Tarot. Thank you very much for coming over to watch this video. Um, it's been a while, I know. Um, had some technical problems though with the um, equipment I was using. It wouldn't let me do long videos. I could do quite short ones. Um, but I wanted to do, you know, the, give the, the right message. Um, and I knew that I couldn't do that in like five or ten minutes. So I was able to put out some health and beauty ones. The twin flame ones I couldn't. I tried doing a video yesterday. Um, I did complete it, it was quite a long one as well, um, but I just couldn't upload it. That was about the summer solstice energy yesterday, um, it, which was quite an exciting um, energy. You know, summer solstice is about the sun um, being still, pausing for a moment and changing direction. And that's what solstice means, it's the sun's um, pausing. So I was like really, really keen to do that and I did it, I just could not upload it. So that energy yesterday, though, I used because you could manifest things. It was all about love coming in, you know, the sun's rays giving out that love and really igniting the twin flame energies or any energies with higher frequency. Um, it's a beautiful energy. I, clear, I cleared my crystals. I um, meditated quite a bit yesterday, so it was all good. And I really felt the um, the effects of the summer solstice. Um there's also quite a gathering at Stonehenge as well yesterday, so um, that was nice to um, to see. I don't know if you've seen any of the videos, but uh, the energy was was amazing anyway. So I hope you made some use of it. Um, so today let's get on with this uh, Twin Flame video. I wanted to look at the Divine Masculine's feelings for Divine Feminine. Now if you're not together, you know, this is really the... Um, uh, insight and guidance I want to see what is divine masculine feeling for divine feminine right now okay so I'm going to use these love cards um, by Dorian Virtue so these are the love and romance oracle cards let's have a look what is divine masculine feeling for divine feminine Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these guys. I'm going to show you these. Okay. Honeymoon. Okay. What is divine? <coughs> excuse me. What is divine masculine feeling for divine feminine? Honeymoon. Past life relationship. Reconciliation. Making an effort. Engagement. Wow. Look at what divine masculine is feeling for divine feminine. You know, a lot of divine feminines, um, if you've been doing your research and being drawn to certain material, you know, know that you're powerful manifestors and you're very powerful when it comes to sending um, energy to divine masculine. And look at this. You know, he's understanding the connection. He's understanding it. He's understanding that it's not the the usual everyday connection. This is like strong. This is a, like a, a proper pull of energies. Wherever your divine masculine is, um, you know, they are still thinking about you. They are still thinking about you because, you know, you, this, the connection is just so strong. And even if they didn't realize it at the time, you know, they, they are doing now. It's it's become, um, they've understood it more, okay, as time has gone on. And it could be a few months, it could be a good few years, it could be many years for you, but they've understood it more as you've gone through the separation from each other. You know, this honeymoon, they, they had an amazing time with you. They felt amazing. They did feel amazing when you were there. So however you met, however you come across each other, there was just this beautiful connection with you that kept you in this feeling, you know, of everything being great, of everything being good, of just feeling nice, just to catch a glimpse, just to be around one another, just felt nice. It was like that. You know, they still feel like this. So let's just pop them there. They want to come across you again. They want to see you again just as much as you do. 
um, to them. You know, they want to see you. And it looks like some of you will be manifesting your twin um, flame back in, you know, reconciliation, coming back together. Um, you'll be crossing paths at some point when you're ready to do so, you know, as long as you've done that work. And like I said yesterday, the energy was very good for manifesting things a bit quicker because the energy was there through the summer solstice, uh, the love energy. So some of you will be coming closer together. Um, but they do want to see you, even if they are with somebody else, even if they're with, even if they're just dating, even if they're in a, you know, a relationship, they still want to come across you again. That's how strong it is here, you know, making an effort, wanting to see you, you know, they will, they would make an effort. They would, they would, the way it was at the beginning where they were seemingly coming around you, wanting to be near you, wanting to make some conversation, just wanting to see you, be near you. You know, there is effort there. They would not, they wouldn't just dismiss you, you know, they'd be around you. Engagement, you know, this is talking again about there's a commitment there and a loyalty there from, uh, sorry about the glare there, I didn't notice that, but let's just try and do it like that. Engagement, you know. This is a loyalty, I feel, um, between the twin flames, a loyalty between each other that you just know because, you, you know, you are so close um, in energies. You are just like each other, okay? Um, it's just so amazing. You know, there's a loyalty between you two. There is a commitment between you two. You just understand somehow the connection, you know? even if you can't describe it in words, there's something here that pulls you in, okay, there's a loyalty there, so this is looking really good, you know, that divine masculine has such a strength of feeling here, that um, they're pulling you in, you know, what you think you create, so they are pulling you in with their thinking, and because you are also maybe been wishing to come across your twin, um, and have asked for it quite a few times, but then have let go, that can also manifest things quicker because then you're releasing all that resistance and you're just allowing the flow for it to happen when it's ready to happen. You may have even forgot that you've asked, you know, because so much time has gone on. But it looks like here that you will be crossing paths again. So that's the good news if you still want that. Okay. The divine masculine. Wow. You know, some divine feminines may have been thinking, oh, well, they didn't bother to contact me. They didn't make much effort. As time's gone on, it looks like here that that energy has changed. If you had that initial uh, feeling from your divine masculine, you know, that you thought, OK, well, they didn't make the effort. They didn't understand the connection. Well, now they are. Now they're understanding it because time has gone on. So um, let me have a look now. Any more messages regarding divine? Masculine, what do they feel? What do they feel for divine feminine? Oh, okay, so maintain your childlike spirit. Uh, gorgeous picture there of, um, looks like a fairy to me on the swing. Okay, childlike spirit. Put that there, let's shuffle again. So childlike spirit, maintain your childlike spirit. You know, when you come across your twin, it's like everything else on the outside just stops. <laughs> you know, there's nothing going on around you. It's just you and your twin. Um, so maintain your childlike spirit. I'll read you that message from the book in just a second. So anything else you want to show us? These cards are quite um, on the large side, although my hands are quite small. So that's probably it. So let's have a look. Any more messages regarding what does divine uh, masculine feel for divine feminine? Renewal of peace. Good. Let's see this one now. Seek beauty. Wow. Okay, so we go to the book here. Maintain your childlike spirit. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, 27 is the number. This one is saying here, nature holds all aspects of light. This light is the same brilliant light that shines out of every child while they are still in touch with the magic of the world and nature. Find the innocence of your childhood light within you and reconnect with it. 
This light represents your virtue and holds the memory of perfect trust, fearlessness in others and total self-reliance. It will allow you to see the world with the eyes of a child. You will be excited to learn new things every day. How much happier our world would be if everyone reconnected to his or her purest essence. That is very true. Okay, kids have this beautiful go with the flow energy that is just truly amazing how they do not hold on to grudges <laughs> they just they're just so present they are just so present in the moment and it's just you know they are beautiful they are amazing um they truly are they're so connected you know and as you get older as you grow up as you become an adult you know that connectedness goes a little bit and then it goes a lot and then it completely goes so <laughs> You know, it's um, it's kind of training yourself to get back in touch with this, maintaining your childlike spirit. So when you're with your twin, you know, um, it can feel like this. I know with my twin it did. So this is showing you that if you do start to, and you're probably already doing it because you're working on yourself anyway, if you get to that point where you are in the childhood energy, in your purest, you know, connected state, Things will just flow, okay? Divine masculine, it feels like this with you. Feels like this with you, okay? So, great, gorgeous message. Renewal of peace. I just look for, what is that, number 13? Number 13, right, renewal of peace. Let's read this one. Again, beautiful cards, um... Renewal of Peace. These are Nature's Whispers. I did do a little video on that. Um, so if you're interested, these are just beautiful, amazing cards. Um, oh, I'll just tell you the bio from Angela Hartfield, artwork by Josephine Hart. Well, just read that off the box. So let's read this anyway. It is important to maintain peace with all aspects of your life, mental, emotional, physical and spiritual. Inner imbalances can often manifest in your daily life if you don't make time to take care of yourself. It doesn't matter whether or not your imbalance is a negative one. Being optimistic to the point of believing yourself to be invincible can also lead to challenges. Balance is best achieved through listening to your body. Take time for yourself. Allow your inner power to heal and return to being peace-filled. This will assist you and make you stronger. Another great message there, renewal of peace. Let's get on to this one then. Seek beauty, number 44. So this one says, and this one says, this is a time to reflect on love and to seek out beauty. Create memories. Take time to enjoy your experiences, celebrations and special occasions. The recollection of happy moments will support you. Look not only in the world around you, but also within. Seek out the loving qualities that you appreciate about yourself. Search for your own beauty. Look at yourself and the world around you from a new perspective. Seek beauty. So it's a time to reflect on love and to seek out beauty and to create memories. Okay. You know, divine masculine is really transforming for the better. You know, having met divine feminine is triggered a lot. And I'm saying his, you know, it could be her, divine masculine. You just, um, you know, go with what is what suits you, what is best for you. It could be masculine, it could be um, male or female, it doesn't matter. So divine masculine is really transforming a lot. The energy is changing because at that time, you know, things were the way they were. Okay, so you were you and divine masculine was him or her. It doesn't matter. That's where you were. That was your situation, you know, your realities, whatever they were. When you met, something changed, okay? And for you to have, to have met anyway, you would have both have been in a vibrational alignment place, okay? So you would have been at the right frequency coming across your twin, who was also matched with your frequency. So you came across each other, okay? Maybe not at that point you had that, intense connection but maybe you know something was swirling around and you maybe were thinking oh who's this person or wow you know um they're attractive or i, I like the this person's energy or you felt drawn to or whatever it was you know 
that was uh, coming together for a reason to trigger things. So you were at that place at that point, and so was the divine masculine for a reason. Okay, but as the you know, uh, as time was going on, and maybe you keep coming across each other and crossing paths and things like that, you know, maybe feelings are building up or something was changing in you, and you were being guided to maybe look at certain aspects of yourself. And divine masculine was also questioning things about their life and their position and what they were doing. There was triggers and there were lessons. So to transform you know, from that initial stage to this stage here, where there is renewal, where there is seeking out beauty, seeking out love, where there is maintaining this innocence uh, within you, you know, when you come across your twin, there is the purest energy between you two, the highest energy is just given off, you know, so transformation for divine masculine is, is here, I mean, these cards are just amazing, they're just beautiful, so let me just pop, um, these over here. I hope I'm going to get time to complete this video. Um, let me just go to these cards and I think I'm probably going to have to wrap it up just so that it doesn't cut out. Let's go to these cards. Any more messages? You've unlocked the key to Divine Masculine's heart. Okay, you've unlocked it. Okay, so it's only about now going forward and continuing on the journey. I'm going to wrap it up there because I'm a bit worried that the um, uh, camera is going to go off, but I will come back and do another one um, very, very soon. And hope, maybe even tomorrow if I get a chance. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I just want to say a quick thank you to all the loyal subscribers um, and all the people who, you know, um, stick with me uh, on my channel because I really do appreciate it. Um, and I'm sending lots of love to all of you on this journey. So um, if you can, like the video, share the video and subscribe. Um, I'm going to put another one out very, very soon. Hopefully, like I said, tomorrow. Um, but until then, I will send you lots and lots of love and I'll speak to you all very soon. Thanks.